Today we will discuss length parameter in Revit. First, I welcome all my friends on my educational channel. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get new videos. Like and share also. Parameters are values used to control the properties of a component such as height, width, depth, and angle. To understand the length parameter, we make a family of AHU. For this, we use generic model family template file. First, we will choose for its family category. For this, punch family category and parameters tool in the properties panel of the create tab and select the mechanical equipment in the mechanical discipline. Family categories can also be viewed from the properties palette. After that we need three parameters for AHU, length, width and height. To add these parameters, select the Family Type tool in the Properties panel of Create tab. AHU will be named from the new Type button. Now we will add the Length, Width and Height parameters. Add the Length parameter from the new Parameter button. Select the instance option to differentiate the parameter from another family type. Select type of parameter length in discipline common and group dimension. Since we must control the length, width and height, so length will be used for all as the type of parameter. After that, create the width parameter also. and create the height parameter as well. Give these three sizes of AHU in the value boxes. Apply and OK it. These are two crossing lines in the drawing working area. These are called reference planes. The first reference plane is called center front back. And the second reference plane is known as center left right. The intersection of these two reference plane is the insertion point of a family in the project. Both reference planes are default in the family template. You can move them by unpin but cannot delete them. All the working you have to do should be based on these two reference planes. Now draw two reference planes for the length parameter. For this, select the reference plane tool in the datum panel of the create tab. No specific distance is required to draw reference planes. We will control it with parameters. After that, two reference planes also draw for the width parameter. Since we have create group parameters under dimensions, so give dimension on these reference planes to add the parameters. First equal the side reference planes with the center default reference plane. For this, apply the dimension on reference planes and enable equal sign. We had drawn the right and left reference planes by guess. By pressing the equal button makes their distance same from the default reference planes. 
also equal the length reference plane like same. To add the width parameter, give a dimension on the reference plane and add the width parameter. Similarly, give dimensions on the reference plane to add the length parameter. For the height parameter, go to any elevation view and draw a reference plane. Now add the height parameter by giving the dimension on this reference plane. Select Solid Extrusion tool in the Forms panel of Create tab for creating the EHU body and select Tool from the Draw panel. Draw rectangle on these reference planes. Log the object with the same reference planes. When you move the reference plane by locking, then the object will also move with it because the dimension parameters are applied to the reference planes and not directly on the object. Log the object with reference plane in the elevation using the same method. Look the object in the 3D view. The AHU length, width and height parameters are ready. You must only change the values in family type. Your object will automatically change according to values. In today's lecture, we have discussed the length parameter in Revit. I hope you have understood this topic. Stay tuned for more educational videos. BIM Talks.